making no doubt this is very much a criminal investigation tonight, but now police are saying there's no sign of any intruder, no reason to think anyone forced their way into the house. For now, the focus seems to be on those already. Police now confirm it was a well-respected pastor, Eugene Kehi, and his well-liked wife, Deanna, who were killed. The third victim, still not positively identified by the medical examiner. Police raced to a fire at the family's home early Thursday morning. Newly released dash cam video shows officers pulling a squad car below a second floor window and rescuing two people as the flames spread. The pastor lived in the house with his wife, two daughters, and two extended family members. Police say what started as a tragic fire quickly became a criminal investigation. A lot of questions. Friends and neighbors are full of questions. You look at it, you know, it's, it's devastating because you think, what could have happened and how could this have happened just to, you know, the three of them. Who may have set the fire? Police confirming that investigators are looking into the pastor's own Facebook posts. About three weeks ago, he changed his cover photo to this. We all have secrets. And then at 3.57 a.m. Thursday, he posted a vague message referring to this difficult time in my life and ended with the words, good night, y'all. Exactly 33 minutes later, police got the first report of the fire. The investigation now focusing on what happened in those minutes before the fire and trying to answer the difficult questions, who and why. And as for those reports from neighbors about possible gunshots right before the fire, police are discounting that tonight, saying it may have been aerosol cans popping or windows breaking. Well, Chris, according to the medical examiner's report that was released today, the pastor who lived inside of this home, Eugene Cahey, died as a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Excuse me. His wife and two daughters, however, died. They have ruled their death as homicide. Move on from here. For neighbors. And I was just shocked. The Cahey's other daughter was transported to the hospital where she died a month later. The medical examiner's report paints a clearer picture of what happened inside of the home by revealing that Eugene Cahey died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom also to your other elders. You brethren, you followers of the truth, even you few sisters, whoever you may be, you, you brethren, you followers of the truth scattered abroad. And let me mainly say shalom to the elect. Anyway, um, I was looking at another video where this pastor just committed suicide uh, last week. But then this story popped up in front of that story. So this one tended to be more, you know, more uh, controversial, if you want to call it that. This man is Pastor Kihi, whose wife and daughter confirmed dead, right? So that's why I put the, in the intro, they didn't know what happened. They said they heard soda, well, they heard cans popping or whatever. Um, the noise sounded like a firecrackers or whatever. Well, it did was confirmed that this Pastor Kihi, um, I believe he's 52, yeah, he did shoot himself. I mean, I don't know if there's some setup with this or not, but this is what is confirmed. He's, he's, he killed himself, killed his children, his wife and, and children, and the other one eventually died in the hospital and um, set, set the whole house on fire. So apparently he had to set the house on fire first and then shoot himself in order to, so he must have killed them First, they say they died of smoke inhalation, but um, they heard the gunshots uh, as the fire was going on. So that would have to mean that they were already dead, and he took the sh you know the shot, you know, and killed himself. He actually pulled the trigger while the fire was blazing. So anyway, um, the intro tells the the whole story basically about the um them setting the fire house on fire or whatever and killing the family so 
this man was an activist as well for bringing water to certain communities that didn't have water. So what would make a man that's an activist who's supposed to be helping the youth and the black people, right? All of a sudden pull the trigger. And it was also told um, that his house was in foreclosure. So what was going on with all this money? I'm not even concerned about that, but there definitely is something uh, going on with this story. This also proves that Christianity, because they call Hebrew Israelism dangerous, when these people, I mean, this is a lot of pastors that are killing themselves. So when these pastors involve themselves in the Christian church and the community and money is drying up, things are getting a whole lot harder. It's because of the truth that a lot of these people are leaving these churches. And this is bringing hard times to pastors that thrived as heads of households uh, in the church. So the church is being snuffed right from under these black pastors. And they're setting up Eve to run them. Hell, Eve running everything now. So they, <laughs> these these uh, black pastors, these men, they're, they're going berserk. Right? They're going berserk. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. So now that I am he, there is... Uh, See, now that I, even I am he, and there is no God, no power with me, right? I kill and I make alive. Now, the reason why he said there's no other God with him, because there is no other power on, you know, with the most high, right? Far as on the level of the most high. And he was saying that because our people was following the uh, customs of, of different gods and, and that word really is is power you know they say there is no other um god right when you go into the genesis one and one it's uh powers which means uh Shai, the angels so there would have to be powers in unison under the authority of the most high anyway and it says, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of thy hand. So his daughter went to the hospital, and um, they she stayed in there for a month, and they couldn't deliver her, couldn't save her. So that's what it is. Um, 1 Peter 4, 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. Yep, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Now we do know that we are catching hell as prophets. Any of you in the truth that are brethren and sistering, you know, you're catching hell in the truth. And um, in the truth, and before you came in the truth, and you might be catching certain um, ailments or whatever else is going on. But if you got to deal with that, if we have to deal with these things in this crazy society, what shall be the end of them who don't even believe in the Most High? That's when the scriptures say such as famine to famine and death to death, right? Uh, an, a, a shameful death, so to speak. And that's why I'm, in, I'm on this video. You're talking about a shameful death because you got... um. People who, you know, brothers and elder men who passed in the truth, you know, even fought for the truth, even physically, that may have passed, right? But that's not shameful because it's a glory to them, it's a glory to die in the, in the, in, in the Lord. And you really don't die. You, your flesh goes, but you really, you know, temporarily out of commission in, on this in this side but you'll be with the heavenly father ready to come back and if you're the elect set things straight anyway i just wanted to go on that on this video um judgment must begin at the house let's go to judgment g29 17 decree judgments it's got one two three condemnation of wrong the decision whether severe or mild 
which one passes on the faults of others. This is why we read here, um, judgment must begin at the house of Israel. And if it first begin with us, what is it to them who don't believe? You come into this holiday, which is not a holy day. It's a, it's a, it's a holly, Hollywood, so to speak, you know, pretty much of like the witches, Hollywood, the hollow, hollow branch. But anyway, that's another video. Anyway, this pastor, he's, um, again, he's, uh, tried to help and save communities, help with water and everything else. And you know what happened? The Lord took him out, you know? Right? So judgment must begin at the house, meaning the house of Yahweh, the tabernacle, right? Two thirds, basically. You're going to see more and more of these pastors, whether it be by one way or another, the Lord is snuffing these pastors out, man. And it's a lot of them committing suicide. You can look, you can look this up. Pastors, pastors are just killing themselves left and right. I believe a lot of it is financial issues, but a lot of them is marital or an adultery and, um, Basically, that's the, the fall of their their good, you know, their goodly pleasures they were having, and now they tend to be losing it, right? So they they're losing out on a good uh, on a goodly pleasures, right? Uh, let me go to Jeremiah twenty three and one. Um, my people, it says my. Jeremiah 50 and 6 it says my people have been lost sheep their shepherds have caused them to go astray they have turned them away on the mountains they have gone from the mountains to the hill they have forgotten their resting place right so a, a lot of our people they have uh, they're not in the truth you know most high when you when you read the scriptures of Ecclesiastes the first chapter he says there's no remembrance of things to come the most high took it from our people, you know, once upon a time, we all knew we was Israelites, but the Lord most high took that. But now the truth is here. They have a chance to get it, but they can't see they're blind. So what would make a man at Mount Zion, right? He's got the sign Mount Zion blow himself away. You know, the failures of, Flourishing in the Christian church. Christian churches become dangerous. They're dying. They're committing suicide. They're blowing their families away. They're burning up their families. And these people all believe in hell. And they set his, he set his whole family on fire. He actually put them in hell. All he needed is the pit. You know, to put them in hell fire. And they actually, bodies went to hell. Their spirit went to the Heavenly Father. It's crazy. My thoughts is where's vocab on all of this behavior? I've been doing videos on these pastors and these churches. What's up? Why Why is these pastors killing themselves if they have the truth? They said, that the, I believe Hebrews 12 chapter says, if it's of the Lord, it will remain. The shaking and removing of things. If it's not of the Lord, it may it won't remain. Anyway, that's all I have on that shallow arm.